Do you have trouble getting your brain to stop? To stop racing? To stop thinking? To stop planning? To stop analyzing? Welcome to a guided devotional called Rest in Your True Identity. We'll explore 10 scriptures that remind us of who God has made us to be. So let's take a few moments to reflect on those truths and find peace in His Word. Find a quiet spot, take a deep breath, and let's dive into the scriptures together. We'll start with Psalm 139, verse 14. Close your eyes and reflect on these words. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Take a moment to thank God for the intricacies of your being, recognizing the beauty in his design. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are God's creation. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. As we turn to that, let's think about God's plans for us. His scripture says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. God gives us a future. He gives us a hope. We can trust in his divine purpose that he sets before us, and we can find peace in his sovereign plan. Reflect on Ephesians 2, verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ponder on that idea that you are a masterpiece, that you were intentionally created for a purpose. How can you live out the good works he's prepared for you? 1 Peter 2 verse 9 reminds us of our royal identity. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Think about that marvelous light, not a dark light, not a kind of light, but a marvelous light. Reflect on that. Think about that. It's a privilege to be chosen by God. As we continue, let's think on Romans 8 verse 37. Listen to this truth. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Take a moment to surrender any fears or doubts just know that through Christ's love, you are more than a conqueror. Philippians 4 verse 13 assures us that I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Think about a challenge or a dream that you're facing. How does knowing that God strengthens you give you strength to face any of those challenges or fears with confidence and trust. As we enter the calming Psalm chapter 23 verse 1, find peace, find solace in these words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Can you picture yourself resting in the care of the Good Shepherd? knowing that he provides and leads you beside still waters. Can you see that? Still waters. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, where Jesus lovingly invites us, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Where do you need some rest? Where in your life do you need to come to Jesus for rest? Take a moment, think on that, dwell on that, reflect on that, and surrender those burdens to Jesus. In Zephaniah 3 verse 17, we find these words, 
The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. Would you allow God's love to quiet your soul? Would you allow God's love to bring you joy? The Lord wants us to have quiet in our souls and to bring us joy. Our last verse is Psalm 4, verse 8. Let these words guide you into a peaceful place. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Surrender your anxieties to God and rest in the safety of His presence. Thank you for joining me on this devotional journey. I hope that these scriptures resonate in your heart as you rest in the truth of who God has made you to be. If you found this devotional helpful, take a moment, share it with someone who might need these comforting truths. Subscribe to this channel. And until next time, rest well in His love and be blessed. Amen.